Chapter 5 Example Memory Palace for the Letter Ha When picking locations for your memory palaces, it's best to simply relax and allow your mind to find the perfect place. When I worked on the letter Ha in Arabic, my mind thought instantly of my friend Hal's apartment in Toronto. Although I've only visited him there once and he now lives somewhere else, our minds have a keen ability to remember the layouts of buildings, making it easy for me to recall the floor plan in detail. It is very easy to go through this location and chart out a number of stations for placing Arabic vocabulary words. As we have seen, the letter Ha appears as Ha when it takes the initial position in a word. Notice that the sound of Ha is associated with Hal. In order to better draw my mind to this particular location when working with words that start with this letter, you may not find this to be necessary. You can go with whatever location your mind brings you. In general, however, if you can come up with something that bears a natural association with the location in question, such as starting with the same letter, either in visual shape or its sound, you will automatically strengthen the memorization efforts you make. What follows are some of the stations in my Ha, Hal Memory Palace, the words I have placed there, and a description of the images and actions I used to learn and memorize the words. As described earlier, I like to group words together and use a bridging image, that to walk along the journey and serve as an additional memory aid along with all the others. In the examples that follow, I will always use the figure of my friend Hal to illustrate this principle. By making this selection for this specific memory palace journey, I am able to use him to structure my journey through the various locations. However, a famous figure would do as well, such as Hal Linden, or even the red-eyed Hal from the movie 2001, A Space Odyssey. It is also important to notice that I have placed the words in something more or less like alphabetical order. However, I've alphabetized according to my homophonic transliterations, and I suggest that you do too, until you've gained a better handle on the alphabet and Arabic vocabulary. Number one, main bedroom. Chahamala. This word means to carry and I've used the principle of homophonic translation to write down Chahamala. I now see Hal smashing a Christmas ham I'm carrying with a mandala. To make the image stronger, I'm also making out with Carrie Fisher from her Star Wars days, of course. Number two, bathroom. Kahar. This word means hot and I have used homophonic transliteration to render it as kahar. I see Hal laughing har, 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 as he pulls my heart out from my chest. Number three, laundry room. Kahasava. This word means to calculate. It sounds to my ear like kahasava. In this image, I see Hal stuffing hashish into a vase and hammering it with a calculator. Number four, kitchen entrance. Kahazam. This word means belt, as in the noun for seat belt, not the verb. To memorize this word, I first transliterate it to kahazam. For this image, I see Hal tossing hay from a barn onto a ham. His pitchfork is a bit out of control, however, so he whips it with his belt. Number five, kitchen counter. Chokomi. This word means governmental, and in my personal homophonic transliteration sounds like chokomi. Thus, I see Hal choking me with a tie that has the White House on it to get the meaning of the word governmental into the image. Not the nicest way to start off this memory palace, but it's definitely memorable. I hope these examples have given you a good understanding of how you can use the magnetic memory method to easily 
and quickly memorize a large number of Arabic vocabulary words in a way that's easy, effective, elegant, and fun. You can make the journey through your memory palace as long or as short as you please, so long as you obey the few simple principles of effective memory palace construction you will do very well. Let's turn now to a few more examples from another letter of the Arabic alphabet.